Hi, I'm Kevin with Baxter Performance. Today we're gonna to be performing an install of our MS201BK in this 2020 Gladiator behind me. Now it has a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine in it. And it also has this filter assembly with the oil cooler and it's tucked up underneath the intake manifold and you really only see this end of it. Um, what happens with this is it totally drains out. I mean, every time you stop your engine, after about 30 minutes, it's gone. And so what happens is you have a delayed dry start and it just has to fill this entire system up before it even starts to oil the engine and that's just nuts. So we came up with this. It's back to performance MS-201 BK. It has a docking collar that's spring loaded, internally sealed. It also has a threaded cleat to lock it rotationally to keep it from backing out when you're installing the filter or removing it. It also has an air valve that actually purges the oil out of the filter before you remove it so you don't make a big mess. It also has a nice little check valve. And that's the magic of this piece is because along with the spin-on filter that has an anti-drain back valve and also a check valve on the outflow side, it retains all the oil in the system up on top so it's ready to go as soon as you start your engine. So on the 2018 and newer Gladiators and Wranglers, there's a small plastic tab that comes out and you would have to saw that out. We, we already did that, just cut it right off. It doesn't serve any purpose on this engine. So we went ahead and gave ourselves some clearance by doing that. So go ahead and remove the cartridge filter. There we go. So prior to permanently installing this device, we're going to leave the O-ring off the body and off of the tip. We need to insert it and find out where our alignment is for our porting. So once you screw it all the way in, and you can do most of this by hand, we'll find out where it comes to a dead stop and we can choose which port we'll use as a result. Now they're 180 out, and we can see that we have a port exposed right here. So we know that we're, our cleat is gonna be tightened from this bottom section here, and we're gonna probably back it off about five to 10 degrees to be able to insert our air valve. And we're gonna plug the other side. Now, to make that easier, we're just gonna go ahead and remove it and install the plug once removed. So we've installed our 1 8 inch plug, our O-ring on the body, and our O-ring on the tip. The O-ring at the base of the docking collar comes pre-installed and we're ready to go. Now when tightening, you're gonna need a one and one eighth inch deep socket to actually match the hex profile on the adapter itself and run it in. Now you wanna pre-oil your O-rings prior to install as well. And then we back up to where our opening is where we wanna have our air pump valve and that's going to be right there and now using a 532 allen wrench go ahead and lock that threaded cleat in place and this will keep it from rotating okay it's down there solid so now we're going to install a 1 8 inch 90 degree fitting to be able to access our air valve easier on this particular application. Now this fitting comes in the kit and is an option to be used. Now a helpful hint is to take a 15 16 wrench 
and it'll match the profile of the 90 degree fitting almost perfectly and makes it easier to access when tightening. Now with the 716 socket, we're gonna go ahead and install our uh, air valve. So we're ready to install our filter now. It's uh, a filter with 22 by 1.5 threads, uh, and you want to also pre-lube um, the filter gasket prior to install. Okay, we're ready to start and check for leaks. Okay, that looks good. So now when you're ready for an oil change, you can simply remove the cap from the air valve. And with compressed air, Simply hold it down for three, four seconds, and that'll blow down the system adequately to be able to remove your spin on filter. And as you can see, no oil spills out, which makes for a very, very clean filter change. As you had before, but now we have the advantage that we're keeping oil in the upper system and not having to make up for it with every start. So now this installation can be utilized on a number of FCA vehicles from the Dodge Caravan with the 3.6 liter or the Ram 1500 with the 3.6 liter. Now it also works with a 3.2 liter variant of this engine. So keep in mind, it's not just for gladiators. It's not just for Wranglers. It's also for uh, any vehicle in the uh, FCA line that utilizes this engine.